special delivery for Barrick and Bruce. He's on a break. We'll take it. <laughs> oh, great. Thanks. Oh, oh, oh please, Alters. <laughs> wow. It's from Barry Big City Motor Parts. <laughs> oh, bouncing berries. This is what the boss has been waiting for. The new hydraulic juicer rinser for Cherry Jam's tour bus. Oh, let's <laughs> reach <my mother! laughs> Well, let's get to work. We'll have Cherry Jam on our way home before you can say goodbye. Like nuts. Raspberry, watch out! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you lost again! Oh. You've lost three games in a row. We've heard of being a good sport, but this is extreme. Raspberry, is there something else you might be so giggly about? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, just... Okay, so last night, right after the talent show, something very unbelievable, well, incredible, um, and uh, just great happened. Excuse me, Miss Raspberry Tort. Here's my car, darling. Give me a call when this hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. Wow! <gasps> yep. <laughs> Here's your card. Raspberry, that's great! <gasps> yes! Wow. Yeah. What'd she say when you called her? Uh, well, uh, I haven't called her. What? <gasps> Why not? Because I'm so scared, excited, nervous. I because what if it's if it's not? What if she says who? Raspberry, the dog trainer. Oh, dress designer. Ah, yes, it's all coming back to me now. The glitter gown. Well, darling, are you sitting down? Because congratulations, we're hiring you to make six thousand. And addresses for the annual Berry Big City Firefly Convention. <laughs> I mean, who needs that? You don't know that's what would happen. And you won't know till you call. Yeah, well, maybe later. I can wait. Well, we can't. But our, our game. <laughs> <laughs> the game can wait. She might make you a fashion star. Think of the fame! The fortune! The fans! Oh, uh, hello? Yes, this is Raspberry Tort, and I... You have? Really? Oh, you do? Me? Yes, uh, well, I guess. Yes! <gasps> What? Oh, she, uh, they want me to come to Berry Big City immediate, right away, and talk about... Yes, yes, starting a new line of raspberry glitter, you know, glitter gowns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cherry, you have to... 
to help me tell me what to wear and what do I say and how do I act and oh, very big city. You don't need any help from me, Raspberry. Just be yourself. Come on, we've got to get you packed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now let's... Uh, Miss Jam? Oh, hello, Berrykin Bruce. Came to give my apologies. I'm afraid your part still hasn't arrived. Part? Uh, what part? Uh, the hydraulic juicer rinser for your tour bus? Oh, oh, yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, well, thank you for being so understanding, Miss Jam. I know how anxious you must be to get back home to Berry Big City and get your tour underway. Tour? Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. Oh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. She's so nice. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, hello? Very Big City Motor Parts? I'd like to speak with the manager, please. Which one's dressy enough for Berry Big City? Uh, we should ask Cherry. She'd know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Don't want to bother her. Hmm, what's wrong? Strawberry, do you think Cherry doesn't want me to go? Did she say that to you? No, but she doesn't seem so excited for me. I just don't know. You're right. You don't know, and you won't know until you ask her. Yeah. Okay, pretty pink or very merry magenta? Uh... <laughs> Both. Better to be prepared. Good luck! Oh, wow, Raspberry! Have fun! I made you some hair scents for the trip. Good luck, Raspberry. Oh, thank you, Lemon. Did you talk to Cherry? Uh, I will, yep. Good. Good luck. Have a great time, Raspberry. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I just, um, I, I wanted to ask you, do you know which hair scent you think's best for Berry Big City? You're the fashion expert. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you in a few days. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, muffin crumbs. Nice <laughs> shot, Blueberry. Plum's turn. Fumble and poison berries. <laughs> I ripped my dress. <laughs> 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 Raspberry will sew that up in... Oh, that's right. She's not here. Ah! <laughs> it's an email from Raspberry. Listen to this. I can't believe what's happening. They're giving me my own design studio. <gasps> my own staff? tomorrow to pack up the boutique. They want me to move here. <gasps> move there? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't think she'd be moving away. Well, it's probably just for a while. I know. Let's bake some treats for a surprise celebration for her. You mean a send-off? Strawberry's right. Let's not show her how much we'll miss her, just how happy we are for her. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Make way for the future fashion star of Berry Big City, the fabulous ra 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 Raspberry. Oh. Ah, she eats up the fashion scene. Ah. Uh. Ew, 
dear. I think we got off on the wrong stop. Uh, no, uh, this is it. <laughs> My home sweet home. You mean your old home. Girls, girls, look! It's Mavis Maraschino from the Fashion Further Forward show. She's doing a segment on me and my fashions. Oh, wonderful, Raspberry! Love that show. What a welcome to Berry Bitty City, Mavis. That's Miss Maraschino to you, dearie. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd remember me from that time you interviewed me. I'm Cherry Jam. <gasps> Blad Scarlet Cummerbunds! Oh, Cherry, what have they done to you? Honey, I can get you a limousine straight to Salon de Vol. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just taking a little vacation here with my friends and... They're holding you prisoner, aren't they? Oh, did they take your clothes? My lawyer can... Miss Maraschino. Mavis, doll. Mavis, please. Mavis, I'm quite happy here and I am choosing to be here. Oh, well, you just say the word and my people are at your service. In fact, I've been dying to get you on my show. Now, where's my little protege? To your best hotel! Oh, excuse me, girls. Gotta go! <laughs> Bye. Um, what was that? If you find out, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know. Pinched, pleated Paisley, you poor dear. However did you survive in such primitive working conditions? Do yourself a favor, my cashmere kitten. Leave it all behind, especially that. But... But this is my very first sewing machine. It's always been with me. A dinosaur, my soon-to-be superstar. Let it go. Fashion forward means forward, not backwards. Mavis feels need for major manicure. There wouldn't be such a thing as a beauty salon in this outpost, would there? Why, yes, there would. We'll be right over for an appointment. Now, shoo, shoo, shoo. Ra, ra, raspberry is on a busy schedule. Raspberry, we're having a little party at the cafe tonight. Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I'll be there. Oh, no, 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 Miss Meringue. That's so last century. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, dear. You're thinking too small. Raspberry is not just a designer of fashions. She's a monument to fashions. Uh, no, 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 no. She's a winter, not an autumn. I want her studio painted winterberry rose, not fall mauve. They want to speak to you, dear. Hello? Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever she said. <laughs> Don't mouse your nails. From head to foot, everything about her has to... Rawr. Every shape, every color must roar fashion. Wait. Ooh. And what do you call this? Blackberry seed facial mask. We wanted blackberry seed and guava. I am out of guava. No, no guava? guava? Very big city salons are never without it. And never without the snootiest stylists. Oh, but Cherry, dear, they're the most famous, most highly sought after. Maybe that's why they never make friends with you, like Lemon does. This will never do. Don't worry, dear. Mavis is here. We'll have it all redone when you get home to Berry Big City. Strawberry. Cherry keeps saying what she doesn't like about Berry Big City. Now, you listen to Mavis. That's just what stars do. She's afraid of competition, so she's trying to convince you not to go. You mean, she's jealous of me? Uh, Raspberry, maybe you should ask Cherry? This is a bittersweet goodbye. Tears and smiles at the same time We know you gotta go and live your dream We've been together for so long You not here will feel so wrong But time goes on and we have our memories Without you, the sun won't shine as bright. Without you, things won't seem just right. We'll be so blue when you moved away. Without you, nothing will be the same. Without you, we won't feel complete. Without you, there's a missing piece. It's so true. No matter where you are, you're
think Raspberry's going to love it. She isn't going to hear it. Ra ra Raspberry isn't coming. Mavis said she needs her beauty sleep. She forgot us? The Raspberry I know would never accept an invitation and not show up. <laughs> and I miss the Raspberry I know. Cherry, is there any reason you wouldn't be happy for Raspberry? Yes, there is. I mean, we're all going to miss her, but this is her chance to be a star. When you're a star, sometimes it's hard to be yourself. Raspberry isn't acting like herself, and the Raspberry we knew was happier. So you're not jealous of Raspberry? Oh, no! I'm worried for her. You know, the stars shine much brighter here than in very big city. Oh, not this cafe again. However did you survive with just one restaurant? Oh, uh, I, uh, I guess Strawberry's just such an incredibly inventive cook. We just never got bored. What's going on? Excuse me. Uh, hiya, Raspberry. Hi, uh, do you know where Strawberry is? Oh, Rice. <laughs> That's where we're going. Oh, the Berry Bitty City Boat Race. I can't believe they didn't remind me. Come on, Mavis. I can't miss it. It's my very favorite event. Boats? Oh, wait, if it's boats you want, I'll sign you up at the very Big City Yacht Club. Look! Raspberry's here! She does care about us! Let's go back and restart the race! Hi, Raspberry. Glad you're here. Hi, Cherry. Why aren't you racing? It didn't feel right taking your boat out without you. Oh, I wasn't sure if you wanted me here. After last night's party, we weren't sure if you wanted to come. The party! Oh, oh I... Oh, no! Oh, don't worry yourself, kitten. Who wants to go to a dismal hoedown anyway? Well, I would. Oh, it's so not you, Button. Actually, it was a surprise going away party. For you. Really? Jump in. Can we be a team? Sure. Hey, come on, Mavis. We can catch up. Bitter button hooks. You're not serious. Us in that? <laughs> She's my champion boat. Come on, get in. It'll be so fun. I am not getting in that bucket. This is not you. Mavis, watch out. <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> Mavis, I think that look is you. Could you do this to me, this maraschino? I have nothing prepared for my next show. That was kind of you to lend Mavis your tour bus, Cherry. It was kind of you to throw her this going away party. Oh, it's not a going away party for Mavis. It's a staying home party for both of you. Are you sure you want to give up everything in Berry Big City? Nothing there can make me feel like a star the way my very best friends do. The way you do, Cherry. I'm sorry I thought you were jealous of me. I wasn't being kind. I wasn't being me. I'm glad the real me is back. Welcome home. Morning, Postmaster. Oh, getting ready for your vacation, I see. Oh, feel the chill in that breeze. Yeah, not much summer left. We're trying to get going before it's over. Oh, I nearly forgot. Do you have anything for me today? Well, 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 well. <laughs> what have we here? <laughs> Now, that's either six dozen dried kidney beans, or... 
The maracas I ordered last week! Thank you, Postmaster. These are for our trip. When we get to Berry Breezy Bay Resort, they're gonna know we arrived. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> well, have a wonderful trip, Ms. Pudding. Hi, Postmaster Bumblebee. Now, uh, what could it be that I'm forgetting? <laughs> could it be... This? <laughs> Delivery from Happy Pappy Snapapple Farm. Perfect! <laughs> Thank you! Now I can finish my snappy apple apple snacks. Would you like some? Oh, they're very good! Nope, can't. I'm on that new buttercup diet. <laughs> well, happy vacation! I'm so excited! It's like I'm there! <laughs> We're not there yet! We will be tomorrow. It's all I can think about. All I want to do is dance and dance! I can't wait to move into our perfect peach pink palace. What do you think? I love it! And I'll be surfing those perfect azure waves. And me? I'm gonna be sunbathing under their perfect rows of coconut palms. And I am just gonna wanna sing! <laughs> Tropical paradise with blue skies It's better than a dream to dance by the sea Watching the waves all rolling by Come on, girls, let's have some fun Let's dance all day under the sun Because we're sunshine girls Tap your feet to the beat now Sunshine girls Jump up, move to the groove Sway to the left Swimsuits check, beach towels check, second set of beach towels from when the first set's wet check. Uh oh, wow, Orange, are you ever organized? Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah, just the vacation checklist that I made. Whoa, look at you! I've hardly started packing, and already I've forgotten more than I can remember. Well, like I always say, you can never be too organized. I mean, what if we got all the way to Berry Breezy Bay Resort and forget something really important? Good point. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a copy of your checklist that I could borrow, would you? Just so happens that the first item on my list was to make copies of the list for everybody. That's so She's very nice. nice. Here you go. Orange's official list of everything we need to bring. I even made a list of all the lists I made. Organization, that's the key to a happy vacation. Well, we better get busy. We've got a big day tomorrow. See you later. Better hurry. Everybody ready to go? Everybody check and double check their lists? Yep, there's nothing to do now but wait for the butterfly bus. According to the schedule, it should be here. Punctuality, that's the key to a happy vacation. Uh, I think I'll practice napping on the beach. I think I'll practice my nifty new surf move. It's called... <sighs> the snooze. <laughs> <laughs> I hear something coming! Just the breeze. Oh, oh, is that it? Oh, guess not. Coming. There you are. Oh, 
I am so very sorry. This letter was delayed by bad weather. It just arrived. Oh, it's from the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. We are happy that you will be visiting us <laughs> next year. What are these hotels months from now? We regret to inform you the resort has been closed early due to very, very breezy weather. It must be a joke. But look, there's more. This is no joke. Sorry. I really had my heart set on Barry Breezy Bay. I could almost feel that peach pink sand between my toes. <sighs> oh, oh, maybe we could go to the mountains instead. Except it's kind of breezier there. There must be other resorts. Yes. I'll start researching them. Oh, great idea. I bet we can find something just like Berry Breezy Bay. Um, I'm afraid that won't work. Summer is just about over. There's no time to plan a whole new trip. You. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> there aren't going to be any sand castles in the peach pink sand. No surfing those perfect azure waves. And no sunbathing under the perfect rows of coconut palms. But why not? Why not? Because the whole island is closed. Who says we have to go to the island? What are we gonna do? Bring the island here? Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> <laughs> if we can't go to the island, why don't we bring the island here? Do you know what she's talking about? Mm hmm More or less. Mostly less. Here, let me show you. I'll build us a perfect copy of Very Breezy Bay Resort. With a beach and palms and sand castles. But where? Right here, on the shore of Very Bitty Lake. It'll be like we're really there. But it'll be our own place, a place where everyone in Very Bitty City can vacation. Someday, we could even have guests. Just like a real resort. I don't know, Orange. Do you think it's a bit ambitious? <clears throat> yeah, it's maybe just a little itsy bitsy bit impractical, if not undoable. Sure, it's ambitious, impractical, undoable, and downright impossible. That's why I'm the one to make it happen. Just gonna take some good old fashioned hard work. Or sun, shine, cross. Do you really think she can pull this off? It's going to be a whole lot of work. Maybe she's bitten off more than she can chew. I sure don't want her to be disappointed. Maybe she really can make it happen if we help her. What do you say, girls? We yeah, can let's it happen do it together. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Can we help you, Orange? Well, let's see. Oh, why, yes, yes, you can. Lemon, you help Eric and Bloom with palms. Blueberry, we need chairs over there. Plum, strawberry, we need a tropical menu. Raspberry, you work with Eric and Bill on the sand. Cherry, you start learning. Eve, come! Eve, come! One down, 2,000 loads to go. Hmm. This is more red than peach pink. Berry Breezy Bay is famous for its peach pink sand. See? What if we try adding some pink grapefruit juice to it? That might make it pinker. Good thinking, Strawberry. You and Lemon can... <gasps> oh, no. Uh, no, 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 Cherry! The chairs go over here. Not too bad, I think, if I do say so myself. Not bad, but not perfect. It has to look exactly like the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. They are famous for their exact replica sand castle. Here, like this. But how do I, I mean, how can I? It's no big deal. All you have to do is tear this down and start all over. That's perfect. Just the right size for transplanting our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms. Um. Where are our berry bitty coconut palms? Coming right up! I don't know how bitty they are, though. My berry bitty plant food is having a bit of trouble trying to bittyize these big boys. 
How much trouble? Uh, let's just say they're smaller than big, but bigger than bitty. Uh, but which could be good, depending. Depending on what? On how much shade you want. Let's bring one of them out! The smallest one, please! <laughs> Too much shade. I agree. Just another day or so, and I'll be able to grow them to very bitty size. All right, send it back to the nursery. <laughs> oh no. Let's see. What's next? Hey, Orange. You want to have a look at this? Sure, Mastery. Um, where is it? It, um, <laughs> uh, hmm, I, I could have sworn, but I, huh. Maybe we should try some lemonade. Well, that's very pretty. Oh, but it sure is starting to smell awful. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. It has to be exactly like the sand at Berry Breezy Bay. Well, we won't be able to call this Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Okay, team, let's try the wind machine. No, no, I can barely feel that. I want it to be a very big breeze. Try it again. Put a little more oomph into it. <laughs> your very best. But it was a very big project. Hmm? What were you saying? Mm, the resort? All that work? Blown away? Remember? I figured out the problem. My first sketch was just plain wrong. I downloaded the plans for Berry Breezy Bay from the internet. Now I can make it exactly like the real thing. Of course, we're going to have to work really, really hard to build this. Teamwork. That's the key. Meet me in five minutes and I'll hand out your new assignments. She can't be serious. We can't build something like that. There's no way. She's just setting herself up for another disappointment. <sighs> I'll go talk with her. 19 and 20. Orange. Hi, Strawberry. Glad you came. You can help me start digging the foundation for the hotel. Cherry can help mix cement. Plum can put in the plumbing. Raspberry's got the window shades and wallpaper. Lemon can lay the floor. I'll do the roof. And Blueberry can... Blueberry can... Hey, where are Cherry and Plum and Raspberry and Lemon and Blueberry? We're on a tight schedule. They're, uh... Not coming. Why not? <gasps> What's wrong? Well, I think maybe you have the wrong blueprints. I do? <gasps> oh, no! Oh, for a minute there I thought I'd made a mistake or something. Nope, these are the plans, all right. The plans they used to build the real resort. See? Every detail is exactly, precisely the same as on Berry Breezy Island. The beach, the hotel, the chairs, the palms. But what about these? Oh, <laughs> those aren't any good. Oh, I think they are. Aw, oh, come on, just look. The details are all off. See that beach? Way too small. And the chairs, they're in the wrong place. And don't you think this is the most important detail? Huh? What detail? This, right here. That's us having fun, having a great vacation together. 
isn't that what matters most? Well, but wouldn't it be more fun with a big pink beach like this? And real palm trees like these? And... Um, I think what makes it fun is us being together. Having fun. Yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't been much fun. I guess I've been kind of bossy. We don't want to give up on helping you with your dream, but... You know, maybe we don't need a big pink beach. Maybe we don't need palm trees. What if we build a tropical paradise that's just right for us? <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea, Orange. And what if I try to have more fun building it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. And Raspberry, build any kind of sandcastle you want. Just have fun doing it. <laughs> oh, I have so this many is ideas. Be great. Come on, let's get going. exact shade of pink. Maybe the coconuts aren't in perfect rows, but mm, they taste great in these pies. Who needs the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel when we have beach bungalows just right for us? Maybe it isn't exactly like that other place, but this is better because we built it together. Orange, will you do the honors? I'd be happy to. My friends, tomorrow Vacation begins! Welcome to our very own Berry Pity Resort! <laughs> Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. Tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling. Together, being with friends, 
That's the key. And strawberry and a very beautiful one it is. <laughs> right as raspberries. Huh? Wow. Looks like the marketplace is off to a great start. This is going to be wonderful. Oh, I just hope it's quick. Remember, two weeks, two weeks. My next crop of berry bitty produce will be ready to harvest in just two weeks. This marketplace has got to go up, 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 or there won't be any place to put my peaches. Lay out my lemons, keep my carrots. We're doing the best we can. Everybody calm down. I know the deadline is tight, but I've worked out a schedule. If we follow this, we'll be finished in two weeks. No problem. We can do that. No Consider problem. Consider it done. Don't worry, Barry Kim Bloom. We'll be ready when you are. Oh, thank you, thank you. Gotta get back to caring for my corn, pruning my peas, weeding my watermelons, nurturing my nectarines. Oh. Well then, you have all your materials? Well, I could use those designs for your apartment on the second floor. Oh, I'll get to those today. And maybe some, oh, watch it, extra hands to help put up the frame this afternoon. Hmm, I'll round up the girls, see if they can spare a couple of hours after lunch. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, Plum! Ugh. Oh. Plum? On vacation? I didn't know she was going on vacation. Lemon has gone traveling? Oh. Orange's store is closed. Please come back another time. Gone fishing? Blueberry's never been fishing in her life. Oh, muffin crumbs. This is awfully odd. <laughs> Come on, custard. <laughs> this isn't playtime, huh? Cupcake, please. I have work to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think of this for my dream bedroom custard? Huh? Oh, you're right! There's something I forgot. I've always wanted a little shelf behind my bed. You know, to keep a glass of water, a book, and my phone. Oh, and my dream bedroom would have a skylight above the bed. Oh. I would wish on shooting stars as I drift off to sleep. And built-in drawers with the smallest drawer on top for socks and tights, and the largest drawer on the bottom for, you know, my sweaters. <gasps> no, what, uh, what? What about your vacation and your travels and uh, fishing? Vacation? Pickled pineapples. Have you flipped your flop? We've yes? got a marketplace to build. Hold on, but you, you closed your stores so... <laughs> <laughs> so we can help you, silly. You... You did that for me? Of course! Well, you want to help? Me too. That's what friends are for. You. Why don't we head over to the building site and get started? have it mostly under control, but they do need extra hands to put up the frame. How exciting! Putting up the frame! And after that, what can we do? Yes, what can we do? Strawberry, we won't be ready to put up the frame until after lunch, but may I show you the grout colors for the tiles? Uh, sure, um, just, uh... We can help. I'm great at grout. I'm a perfect painter. I could alphabetize supplies. 
And could you confirm the height of the fruit stall, Strawberry? Sure, I... Oh, are those the plans for the upstairs apartment? Oh, uh, not quite finished yet, Barry Kimbell. <gasps> the upstairs apartment? We'll work on that. That'll be our project. Oh, uh, really? Um, oh, okay. That'd be a big help, sure. But I haven't finished the, um, designs. We know what you love, Strawberry. Yeah, you want a skylight, right? How did you know that? Don't worry, Strawberry. We'll run every idea by you. What do you say? Well, all right. That's so nice of you to offer. Our pleasure. Come on, girls, let's get going. <laughs> Great bloomin' butter beans! You aren't supposed to be ripe yet. I told Strawberry two weeks. Oh no, no, the marketplace isn't ready yet. There's no place to put all of you until it's finished. What will I do? Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Water bottles. Oh, I've got to find some place to hide the stuff before Strawberry finds out. Ooh. But where will she put her books? She can come here to read. I'll find a place. Hey, I'm hearing a creaking sound. Oh, the only thing I hear is the pitiful wails of my poor ideas as they're shot down. Guess I'm just hearing things. She'll need a vanity for doing her hair. Like I said, there isn't room. Where will she put all her scarves? There could be a shelf in the wardrobe. One can't have too many books. Okay, so we all agree we want Strawberry's bedroom to have a special scent. Absolutely! But as far as the other ideas, Blueberry wants built-in bookshelves. Lemon believes a vanity is a must. Plum, you want her to have a dance bar. Which will take an entire wall. But where will she do her morning stretching? In your big wardrobe that'll take up half the room? Hey, just saying. Now, we promised we would run our plans past Strawberry. So tomorrow, let's each present our ideas and let her decide. What you think? Brilliant! Great idea. Perfect. Why didn't I think of that? Terrific. Well, then, meeting adjourned. So, who's for tea? Oh, I am, thanks. Blueberry? Um, do you have any raspberry? I'll take lemon. Mmm, orange. Plum, please. Nothing tops plum tea. Long as it has a squeeze of lemon. <laughs> Just hearing things. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh well. If life gives you pineapples, make pineapple. Um, pineapple. Oh, pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Woodsy for Strawberry's bedroom. Need more floral. Ah! <gasps> I'm not just hearing things. No, I'm seeing things. <laughs> uh, onions? <laughs> How did these get in there?
of humorous short stories, fiction, by Patsy Von Schlagopeck. That's certainly an unwieldy name. Uh, what does unwieldy mean, Blueberry? It means difficult to handle, maybe because of size or shape. Like that armoire and vanity? Huh? But, but, she has to have an armoire. But she has to have a vanity. I know, it's just that you left me the smallest wall for my ballet bar. But it's perfect, Plum. It is? Well, I was thinking, do you think I could use the bar to hang some silky scarves on just to show Strawberry what else she could use it for? Okay, girls, I've got it! The perfect scent for Strawberry's dream bedroom. Uh, but wait! I've got the perfect scent. Here's mine. What about my perfume? But Strawberry said she loved my orange Aura Room fragrance. <laughs> she said she absolutely adored my plumicious pleasing perfume. She definitely okayed my Berry Bonnie Blueberry Bedroom Beautifier. But she okayed my Luscious Lemon Home Aromaizer! Hey! There's orange aura stuck to my vanity. It was supposed to be lemony light white. It's okay, Lemon. You know, orange really goes better with my bedspread palette anyway. <gasps> Nice, Blueberry. Thank you. I can't smell my fragrance. Oh, no. What have we done? Ugh. It's getting a little powerful in here. Let's take a break. Break? Let's evacuate. Give it a chance to unscent. Let me out of here. Yeah. Hi, Beric in Bloom. Looking forward to that big harvest in two weeks, huh? <laughs> We're right on schedule. Oh, Barry and Bill, I was thinking, what a shame. What a very big shame. What do you mean? Well, it's just if the marketplace could be finished by, oh, let's say, tomorrow, I could submit a photo of it to Better Barry Betty Buildings Digest for their Best Built Betty Building of the Year Award. You would be a shoe in the Best Built Bitty Building Award? Whoa. Well, that's bigger than the Plasterer Prize and the Tyler's Trophy put together. Winning that would be such an honor for the crew. And for the construction boss in charge. All right, Berrykins, listen up. We have a little change in schedule. And you're gonna love it. <laughs> Kiwi fruit, none finer. Now, just stay there until tomorrow and you'll have your very own display in the marketplace. Wow! It's almost all done! Strawberry, looking great, huh? We're down to the wire. But you don't have to work so hard. You're way ahead of schedule. Oh, nothing doing, Strawberry. 
We're going for the gold. <gasps> Wait! I brought you all some pineapple upside down, Barry. Are you ready, Strawberry? Ready for what? Wait and see. <laughs> okay, just a few more steps. Almost there. <laughs> yeah! Do you love it? Do you just love it? Wow, it's, uh, incredible. Oh, what a pretty bedspread. <laughs> and I love having a book. I mean, lots of books right by the bed. And what a great vanity. I never would have thought of that. <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to get more outfits to fit in this wardrobe. an original lampshade. Orange made it. Oh, and your exercise bar, Plum. I'll be sure to get my exercise first thing. And what an unusual room fragrance. Uh, but, but which fragrance do you like best? All I smell is kiwi, which is quite, uh, refreshing. Kiwi? What's the matter, Strawberry? Oh, you didn't change your mind about this skylight, did you? Oh, because we can get rid of it. Or move it. Oh, no. It's just you've all done so much work for me. Of course, Strawberry. Anything to make you happy. Well, we'll leave you to enjoy. Strawberry. I put them there. I just didn't want to let anyone down. How would you let us down? I was wrong about the harvest. It won't be ready in two weeks. Well, that's okay. We can wait. It's ready now. No problem. We can now? <gasps> Colliding kiwis. We'd better get busy. This marketplace has to be open tomorrow. We're on it. Now let's get a move on. Clean up these kiwis. We're going to have this place ready at dawn. Good evening, Princess Berrykin. And what an evening it is. I heard about Berrykin Bloom's early harvest. Is there anything I could do to help? Oh, thank you, Princess. You could help me take these sandwiches over to the marketplace for the night crew. If only Berrykin Bloom could have expressed his needs from the start. Yes, but he was afraid to disappoint and... Oh, um, before you go, perhaps you could help me by eating some pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Oh, I am sorry, but I don't care for pineapple. But knowing you did something so thoughtful is sweets enough. That was a very gracious way to be honest, Princess. Hmm, I better call the girls over here for a pineapple party. Lovely idea. <laughs>
dreamed! Oh, Strawberry, we're so happy you got your dream bedroom. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before what I wanted. Well, we're glad you finally did. Really? Absolutely! It's your bedroom. We just want you to be happy in it. I am. <sighs> I really am. Uh, we forgot something. Oh? Uh, another room fragrance? Maybe... Oh, strawberry scent. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> A place to put down your ideas for the Marketplace's grand opening celebration. <gasps> oh, muffin crumbs! I forgot about the grand opening! Custard, cupcake, it's gonna be a long night. Ah, uh, mud pies. Okay, tell me again what you saw, but slower this time. Okay, so uh, there we were, weren't we? And a routine irrigation check. Bouncing boysenberries. Looks like we got a loose ripple lock. <laughs> hey, what's wrong, Earl? Heard something funny, kind of. Uh, what? Uh, I don't hear anything. <laughs> Something lollop me. <laughs> so, you see, Miss Strawberry, we definitely have a monster in the berry patch. With seven noses? Yeah. And, and it lollops. <gasps> lollops? Well, Miss Cherry, uh, uh, sort of, kind of... Licks in a slobbery sort of way. Oh, how unbecoming. What's going on, Strawberry? Monster in the berry patch. Scary berries! So, what do we do? I guess we go meet it. Huh? <laughs> don't see any evidence of a monster. <laughs> Sounds like... Dogs? Be reasonable now. That was my last biscuit. Dogs... and... A boy? <gasps> Hello? Uh, oh! Excuse me. No, excuse me. Uh, who... Well, where'd you come from? Berry Bitty City. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. I live there with my friends. Oh, hi there. I'm Huckleberry Pie. Hello, I'm Orange. Hi, I'm Cherry. Hello, Huckleberry. I'm Blueberry. Ed. Ah, <laughs> um, Earl. Where are you headed? Not anywhere now. I'm kind of stuck. Hmm. Not for long, you aren't. Guests behave. <sighs> You're so lucky to have so many pets. Oh, Lemon, they aren't mine. Whose are they? Well, uh, nobody's. <gasps> so you've been driving from town to town in Huck's Pupmobile getting dogs adopted. Yeah, I started with 25. I'm taking these, uh, leftover guys to Berry Big City to start Huckleberry's Home for Pets. That is quite 
admirable. Hey, Mr. Huckleberry! Uh -huh. uh, Mr. Huckleberry, you're good to go. All fixed up. Thank you so much. And thank you, Strawberry, Cherry, and your friends, too. <sighs> well, I'd better head out. But it's late. You might get lost again in the dark. You can stay upstairs here, and I'll stay in my other room above my cafe. Well, that's really nice of you, Strawberry. <laughs> Looks like they feel right at home. Well, I hope you do too. Oops! <laughs> Almost forgot my guys. Dinner? Uh, is this part of my bedsheet? Oh, Strawberry, I give up. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I fell asleep and they stayed awake. I guess you could say they, uh... Redecorated? It's what pups do. Strawberry, you've been so kind. And then this. I insist on fixing your room. That might take some time. However long it takes, I promise I'll put it back the way it was. That's very honorable of you. You're welcome to stay as long as it takes, then. <gasps> Need some more trash bags? Huh? Nice leashes, Raspberry. Oh, thanks. I kind of thought they were sort of rather stylish in a pinch. Thank you for walking them. It was fun. Mm -hmm. You know, we were thinking we could each host a dog. That way you wouldn't have to watch over all seven at once. Great idea, Orange. We can each teach our guests some doggy manners. That's so generous of you. Well, they are all so cute. <gasps> <laughs> he slipped out of his leash. Guess I'll host you. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, I haven't named them yet, so be my guest. I think I'll call you Biscuit. <laughs> oh! Okay, you are gonna look very, very glamorous. Your fur's a bit too short for a bow. Well, I guess you look just like you did when I met you, which is very glamorous. And one, two, three, one, two, three, and hit your mark right here, see? Okay, now you try, come on, boy. Oh, almost. Try again and you'll get a treat. Oh. Uh, the waltz part comes later. <sighs> well, at least you hit your mark. We came to help. You name it, and we'll do it. Ooh, got a pretty chewed up chair here. We'll take it to the shop and give it a good power sanding. Oh, I can do it. 
I love sanding and, yeah, uh, machine stuff. I really miss carpentering and, uh, you know, machining. Oh, hi, uh, Blueberry. Sorry, Plum, didn't mean to interrupt your, uh... It's okay. This is my Lecture Inner Music Move You class. That's my favorite. Moving to musical innards. <laughs> inner music? Yeah, I love that too. You do? That's great. Then join us. Okay, hit me with the beat. Uh, this is Move to Your Inner Music. So just... Close your eyes, get quiet and peaceful. Listen to the harmony of your feelings, the bliss of your brain waves, and then go with it. Strawberry. Wow, your pets really like Biscuit. Fit right in from the start. How's my bedroom makeover undo coming along? Oh, great. Just waiting for the Berrykins to build me another chip. I mean, fix. Uh, touch up. Uh, shouldn't be long now. Hold tight. Almost done with these muffins. Hey, can I help? Cooking's my favorite. Muffins are my specialty. That would be a very big help. Can you put these in the oven for me while I finish this batter? Piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh. Are you okay, Cherry? It sounded like you were crying. Oh, <laughs> that was him. We were trying to teach Crooner to sing, but it's not coming naturally. <laughs> Singing? Hey, that's my favorite. Sweet. You can take Crooner's part. Very best friends forever. We never let each other Together. Oh, uh, just warming up my throat. Huck, why don't you take the next chorus on your own? Oh, uh, sure. Oh, sweet home, where memories are made and berries are grown. Yeah. Home, sweet home. A place you can always call your own. Divine! That dog can sing! Biscuit, I thought you were staying with Strawberry. He's sure welcome to stay with me and Crooner. So, uh, Huckleberry, why don't we start with some simple notes, just to warm up your voice? Uh, think I got a tickle in my throat. I'll catch you later. Okay, feel better. For someone who loves to sing, he sure doesn't love to sing. Hi, Orange. Raspberry, what's the hurry? Hair appointment at Lemon Salon. Can't wait to get the new hairdo, the Curlpacious Crescent Quaff. Oh, yeah. I've been dying to get that one, too. Huh? You? Are you sure? Bring it on. Can't wait. Well, would you look at that? Do you want a manicure, Poochie? <laughs> Lemon, you are an artist. Oh, I absolutely, oh, I love it. 
Just me. Huckleberry? What are you doing in there? Hiding. Uh, hiding from what? The whole Berry Bitty world. How come? <laughs> you didn't let Lemon talk you into that, did you? I'm afraid I talked her into it. Kind of like you talked us into letting you join our dance class? Come out of there. All you need is a little water. Oh, no. Don't worry. I have a warm setting on this hose. Oh, okay. Cold. Cold. <laughs> Blueberry, you saved me. Mmm, ginger tea. My favorite. Is it really? Or are you just saying that? I, uh, well, one of my favorites. Why would you say something was your favorite if it isn't? I mean, favorite usually means one only. I guess I thought everyone would, you know, like me better. You've all been so nice to me here, I just wanted to fit in. Aha! I think I'm getting the better of this mystery before it betters me! Hey, that's what Patty Persimmon always says. Patty Persimmon! She's my favorite mystery character! Really? Mine too! Huckleberry, you've got to stop saying you like things just so people will like you. No, really. I like Patty Persimmon Mysteries. Okay. Where is Patty Persimmon from? Berry Bitty Glade. But in The Secret of the Feathered Fish, we learned she was really born in Cricket Crossing and then moved to Berry Bitty Glade. You're right. Okay. <laughs> What's her middle name? Middle name, you say? Mm-hmm. Ha! She doesn't have one. <gasps> You're right! Okay, okay. What is her favorite breakfast? In the mystery of the purloined parasol, it was crepes a la mode. Uh-huh. But in the creepy cabinet caper, she discovers she loves persimmon pancakes with pumpkin butter, coconut syrup, and macadamia nuts. That's right! You really do like Patty Persimmon Mysteries. Like them? I collect them! I've got them all. All but the latest one, which isn't out yet. It's the Thespian, Thespian Theater, Theater Thriller. Thriller! I have it! You do? It, it just now, it only just... Oh, how did you get it? You just happened to be looking at a lifetime member of the Patty Persimmon Early Edition Club. Wow. I finished it last night. <sighs> Would you let me borrow it, please? Hey, you can have a copy. Compliment to Blueberry's Bookstore. You make me a promise. No more pretending everything is your favorite. Give Berry Bitty City a chance to like you for who you are. Then you'll be sure we like the real you. Okay, deal. Hey, I thought you were staying with Lemon. <laughs> Would you look at that? This dog can track. I think I'll call you Snipper. He fits in everywhere. I wish I had a little of what he has. Biscuit? Ah, hi, Raspberry. Oh, poor little thing. Whenever anyone comes in, she hides. Kind of shy. Hope she'd make a nice guard dog. Let me know when people need help. I don't think Coco likes his sweater. Well, it is kind of thick. And he already has a fur coat. Yeah, don't think he likes it. And he won't sit still for fittings. Hmm. Hi, Orange. Oh, morning. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Orange, I don't think your dog is shy. I think she's cold. Really? 
Mm-hmm. And mine is too hot in that sweater. Can I trade on your dog? Absolutely! Great idea, Raspberry. Okay, Strawberry, open them. <gasps> oh, Huckleberry, it looks beautiful. It looks like it did before my dogs got a hold of it. I hope, anyway. It does, it does. Thank you for fixing everything. Thank you for your hospitality. You are welcome in Berry Bitty City anytime. Really? Uh, after all the trouble I caused? Well, everyone makes mistakes. And don't you know how much we all like you? You do? Of course! We liked you from the start. What you're doing for the pups? I mean, who wouldn't like a person who does something so nice? Where are all the dogs? Um, can we talk to you about that? Would it be possible for me to adopt Hannah? Hannah? What happened to the Dalmatian? Doesn't Cinepop have an incredible voice? And Pitter Patch is a great dancer. Doesn't Chiffon look fabulous? Um, where is Chiffon? Ah! We decided to swap dogs. And perfect matches were made. Isn't that so scouty? <laughs> what do you say, Huckleberry? Of course. Well, I suppose I'll adopt Biscuit. But I haven't seen him for a while. He's kind of a rover. There he is. I'll oh, take you with us. Come here, come here. Come come on. Come on. <laughs> no wonder he didn't stay with any of us. He's been your dog all along. Well, Huckleberry, will you let him adopt you? <laughs> I think Tom Tom already has. Would you like me to read you a story? Story! 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 Okay, how about if I read you this one? A story that I wrote myself. Yeah! <laughs> it's a story that takes place right here in Berry Bitty City. Uh, am I in it, Pooh Belly? And me? And me? We're all in it. Wow! <laughs> It's called The Very Long Winter. Now, you might think this all happened on a winter's night, but it didn't. It didn't? <laughs> no. It happened on a winter's day. And because it was a winter's day, you might think it was cold, but it wasn't. It wasn't? No. It was as warm as spring. Everywhere you looked, winter was leaving. Now, you might think everyone would be happy, but they weren't. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> All over town, people were sorry to see winter leave so soon. I barely get these wonderful winter fashions designed and then displayed, and no one's even tried or, or barely seen or tried them on. And now I have to take them all down. Hi, hi Raspberry. Raspberry. Oh, hi. Uh, did you come to buy some wonderful winter fashions? Well, we were looking for something a little more... springy. <sighs> That's what I was afraid of. Well, I better get busy designing my spring line. And all over town, that's how it was. The early spring caught everyone by surprise. Oh, Belly, you said your story was about winter. And it is. How can it be winter when it's warm? <laughs> well, you'll just have to be patient and see what happens. And so it was that lots of folks were sad to see winter turn warm. Lots of folks, but not everyone. Here you go. Hot chocolate? We should have ordered lemonade. Yeah, ice-cold lemonade. Haven't you noticed the heat outside? <laughs> What's so wrong with an early spring? Everything. 
My store is overstocked with fruitcake, chestnuts, and marshmallows. I barely got it to show off the new knit hat and matching scarf and mittens the raspberry made for me. The snow melted before I ever got a chance to go sledding, or build a snowman, or play my favorite winter game, Capture the Snowman's Nose. Oh, yeah! Oh, snowman's Nose! I really love that game. You know, we might not be able to wear our mittens until next winter, but we could play Capture the Snowman's Nose now! And to do that, we'd need snowmen. Exactly. And to do that, we'd need it to snow! <laughs> not necessarily. So, all you gotta do is keep the juicerating confabulator turned on, keep this dial point here, flip on the freezelator like so, and presto! Instant snow! Thank you, Barricade Bruce. This is great! <laughs> well, let's build our snowmen! Let's take this game away! 
Okay with me, if it's okay with the girls. to make all the decisions about what's fair for everybody else. And in Berry Bitty City, everybody's opinions get to be heard. So, what do you think the rules should be? Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. I don't well, know. Gosh, I haven't uh -oh. thought of any. Barricade Bloom? Uh, what if the rule was simply anything that's fun? Yeah! yeah. 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 Good. Should we put it to a vote? I love yeah! it. Yeah! 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 All in favor of the only rule being anything that's fun, say aye. Aye! aye! All opposed, say nay. <laughs> the ayes have it. The rule is passed. <laughs> can form a team with raspberry, orange, and lemon. Now, each team will have the same advantages. Oh, no! Look! Uh-oh. It's melting! Quick, get some more snow! Do something! Oh, there it goes. No! I'm sorry, Strawberry. It's just too warm. The snowmaking machine can't keep its cool. Thanks for trying, Berrykin Bruce. Aw. Well, that's it. Fun while it lasted. Just when we worked out the teams. <sighs> Guess we'll have to wait till next winter. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Hold on, everybody. Gather round. What if we made our snowmen out of something other than snow? 
Oh, anybody have any ideas of what we can use to build a snowman that's white and fluffy? You mean besides mashed potatoes? <laughs> mashed potatoes! <laughs> that's it! <laughs> hey, I was joking! I'm not! <laughs> it could work! Come on, everybody! Do you think it's too cold and windy to play? <laughs> yes, and it'll be getting dark soon. Let's come back in the morning. Meanwhile, hot chocolate for everyone at the cafe! <laughs> All their carrots had mysteriously disappeared. Well, this snowman's carrots are gone too. And, and we used most of the carrots we saved in the winter storehouse for playing the game. Whew. And it looks like winter is coming back. Aha! Gotcha! I know who our thieves are. Light on their feet, but not light enough for me. Little do they know, I've read all 120 Patty Persimmon Girl Detective novels. Or is it 130? And I can say conclusively, without a shadow of a doubt, that the culprits are absolutely, positively... Squirrels. Yes! Uh, Yep, squirrel tracks. Three sets of them, it looks like. That is absolutely correct. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Squirrels can get very hungry. And three of them are three times as hungry. What if our carrots aren't enough for them? You mean, if they started eating the rest of our food? Yes. <laughs> the crops we've stocked up in case it's a bad winter. Oh, it's not going to be a bad winter. I mean... It didn't look bad yesterday. Looks like a blizzard might be brewing. Well, in that case, shouldn't we try to leave something out for them? You know, share what we have. But if the winter gets really bad, what we have might not even be enough for us. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm with Berry Can Bloom. If a big blizzard hits, our berry bitty gardens and orchards would be buried. All we'd have to eat until spring would be frozen berry sickles. I think I'm with Strawberry. Shouldn't we share? Oh, I really think we should. Sharing is what we should do. Oh, well, no. Not if I we don't agree, agree at all, because no. we can run out. We have to. Yeah. Oh, since this is really important and everyone in town will have an opinion, I think we should vote. Well, all right. right. I yeah. 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 Vote yeah. 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 This vote is for yes. And the last vote is for no. So, on the question of should we share our stores of winter food with the squirrels and other animals, the vote is... a tie! The number of yes votes and no votes are the same. Oh. 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 What? What? Yeah. Yeah. what will we do? Yeah. Well, what? Oh. Oh. Did everyone vote? Wait, did you vote? Oh, <laughs> you're right. I was so busy taking care of this, I forgot to. <laughs> um, well, no matter which way I vote, some of you are going to be happy, and others, well, maybe not so happy. 
We've all talked about it. What's the best thing to do for all of us? For the whole town. We've gone over the weather predictions. We've added up how much food we have for the winter. And we've talked about, is it a good idea to give away some of what we have? When we don't really know how long the winter will last. Like all of you, I... I can only vote what I think and what I feel. So on the question of should we share our stores of winter food, my vote is yes. And if a storm comes and we run out of food, they'll never forgive me. Everybody in Berry Bitty City loves you. You had a right to vote for what you believed was best. You weren't the only one who voted to share our food. But I was the tiebreaker. Oh, don't worry, Strawberry. <laughs> Who's that? It looks like some barricades. Oh, maybe they've come to tell me what they think of me. Well, I better face them. Good evening, everyone. Um, we've talked about it, and we've decided that you've been such a patient referee and leader, Strawberry. You respect all our different points of view, and so we'd like to ask you to be in charge of managing the rest of Berry Bitty City's food stores this winter. We think... Well, we think it would be the best thing for all of us for the whole town. Yes, I agree. That's a great idea. Well, why don't we meet here in the morning? And we'll make a plan. All right, yeah, sounds yeah, good. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great idea. After we figure out the food situation, can we still play capture the snowman's nose? Well, I don't see why. I see. <gasps> Look! Well, I think we found our carrot thieves. But none of the carrots were eaten. You weren't hungry? Then why? You wanted to play capture the snowman's nose? <laughs> well then! Technology and fashion cooking show video take number... What is it now? 23! Take 23. Hi, everyone. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Tonight, I'm making Myrtle Berry Meringue. It's a great favorite here at Strawberry's Cafe in Berry Bitty City, and it's such a fun recipe. Of course, the most important ingredient is... a big bowl of merry, mirthful, mirthful berries. I mean, Myrtle. Myrtle berries. Oh. Sorry. Cut! That's a mirthful mouthful. Take 24. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful myrtle berries. Uh, oh, no! Oh. oh! Cut! I'll tell you one thing, Strawberry. Don't quit your day job. Sour? What? Quiet on the set, please. Oh, sorry. Was I holding you up? Like it makes a difference. They say they're going to play this video on a skirt they're inventing. That's also a video screen. I mean, seriously? <laughs> Sour. Please. Take 25. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful oh, myrtleberries. Cut! What? <gasps> One more time. Quiet on the set. Take 26. 
six. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of Merry Mirthful Myrtle Bow. <sighs> oh, not again. Oh, power's been going off all day. We'll never get our video done. What are they doing down at the Berry Works power station? <laughs> Finally, take 27. How are you whiz kids gonna enter a technology in fashion contest with no technology? We'll have to continue later, whiz kids. It's getting dark and I need to take care of deliveries at the marketplace. But first, I'm gonna find out what's going on at the Berry Works. Gary! Ah! Oh. Somebody cap that cracked crinolator! Bouncing bitterberries! What happened, Barrick and Bruce? Ah, uh, Sparkleberry Strainer popped a grommet. Oh, looks bad. Uh, not as bad as when the peach pit pulverizer exploded. We were up to our pips and pulp for a week. Hey! Move that mango masher! No, not that one! The other one! Well, don't worry. Barricans are on the job. The power will be up and down tonight, but we'll have it fixed by first thing in the morning. I hope. Come on, Barrykins! This whole place looks like it's too very short of a fruit salad! I'd better tell the girls it's a wrap till tomorrow. Oh, uh, Strawberry Shortcake speaking. Hi, Cousin Strawberry. Apple Dumpling? <laughs> I haven't talked to you in forever. How are you? I'm great! Always on the move, you know. Gotta see what's over that next hill, as we real travelers say. Thought I'd call and let you know I was thinking of stopping by for a quick visit. Oh, I'd love to see you. Things are just a little... crazy right now. When were you thinking of arriving? I'm guessing in about five, four, three, two, one! Huh? Poor butterflies couldn't slow us down. Are you all right? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, this was nothing. Did I tell you about the time I climbed Mount Macadamia and discovered it's a volcano? That's right. I saw your post on your Very Best Bits page. But sure you're all right? Well, I had to dodge some lava chunks the size of a house when it erupted, but other than that... Uh, no! I mean the crash. This? Ah, this was no crash. The time I went over Crabapple Falls in a kayak, that was a crash. There I was, down the creek without a paddle, when all of a sudden... Oh, I almost forgot. Tea time! Oh, okay, I'll make us both a cup as soon as we get to town. No, tea time turtle. There he is. He goes everywhere with me. I'm so glad you came to visit. I save every postcard you send me. <gasps> Everyone's gonna be so excited to meet you. We all follow you on Very Best Bits and love all your pics and posts. Now, I don't want to cause anybody any bother. I just dropped by for a quick visit. I'll be gone before you can say, planes, trains, and airplanes. But you just got here. Oh, well, you know how it is when you're a world traveling adventurer. You have so many pen pals to visit, you can't stay in one place for long. Can you stay just a little while? The Bear Kids will have to fix the bus, and they're all busy now. <gasps> you can stay overnight with me! Well, I guess I could stay just one day. A real bedroom would be nice. I I'm used to sleeping in my tent or the cabin on my little one-girl sailboat. I mean, one-girl and turtle sailboat. Right, tea time? Tea time? <laughs> oh, there you are. Sorry I can't be a better host, but I have to get all that stuff ready for tomorrow's customers. Oh, let me help. I can turn any boring chore into an adventure. Did I tell you about the time I hitched a ride on a cargo ship and helped the crew swab the deck by getting a whale to splash it clean? Oh, yeah. I read about that on your Very Best Bits feed. Didn't the ship kind of get, um, full of water? <laughs> yep. I turned it into the biggest swimming pool ever. Hmm. I, uh, see what you mean. And how did the... 
captain feel about that? You should have seen his face. It was so sweet. I guess nobody had ever done something like that for him. He just sat there and cried. I can imagine. Leave it to me. I've got all kinds of ideas how to get this organized. No, 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 that's okay. I mean, you're my guest. You just get settled upstairs and I'll see you after I'm done working. Well, okay. You sure? Uh, <laughs> very sure. Well, Barrack and Bruce said they'd get it fixed. So I'll be at the cafe first thing in the morning. Thank you, Strawberry. Okay, Lemon. You have a good night, too. <sighs> Apple, it's me. I thought you might want to see my collection of your postcards. Apple? Surprise! <laughs> well, are you ready? <laughs> For what? This. <laughs> the Crystal Crater Caverns that I explored. Isn't it just amazing? Yes, it's amazing that you can do something like this, but do you think we could turn it off so we could get some sleep? Oh, oh sure, no problem. Oops. <laughs> I got so excited I forgot to add an off button. But don't worry, the lights will run out of juice on their own. Uh, when will that be? About sunrise? my very best bits followers of Apple's amazing adventures, I begin the story. Oh, thanks, Tea Time. I begin the story of my latest adventure, Avalanche Surfing, How I Rode the Wild Snow. <laughs> oh, hi there. Do you like my adventure story? Well, would you like to hear more? Yeah! 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 Well, there I was. Ooh. High up in the apricot alps. Ooh. Snowboarding an avalanche. Ooh. Faster and faster, I raced down the slope. The avalanche was hot on my heels. And then, all of a sudden... Ooh. Wait a minute. Why tell you about it when I can show you? Come on! Yeah! 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 <laughs> okay, 
Once we install this valve, we're back in business. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> now let's see if it works. And... Hup. Smooth. It works! to ratchet into the fairy juice system and you have a snow making machine Video take what is it now? 153 Take 153. Now remember, once we've mashed our myrtle berries, we need to blend them for only one minute. If you blend too long, it will foam up and get all over. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night. Hot! Take 154. Strawberry. Uh, Cat! 155. Remember, we need to blend our Myrtleberry meringue only for a minute. If we blend too long, it'll foam up and get all over everything. I think she's got it. I think this take is going to be the one. Oh. Gonna go wrong. Quick, shut it down. Shut it down. Smashed mangoes. What is it? Another popped grommet? No, this is worse. A blowout in the juice cooler. What could have made that happen? Not what? Who? Strawberry? Apple? Can we talk? I've thought about it, and I think it's best if I just leave. <laughs> Come on, Apple, don't go. Everybody feels bad about what happened, but we can work it out. We're family here. I don't want to leave, but I have places to go, people to see. Gotta find the next big adventure for my very best bits feed. Being a famous traveler is what I do. It's why people like me. 
Is that why you don't stay with anyone for very long? Oh, Strawberry. I'm not like you and everybody else here. Having something you do that people need. At least stay until the Barricans can fix the bus. Oh, I can fix the bus faster than you can say batten down the hatches. It's my fault it crashed in the first place. I got curious how the booster worked and I uh, tried to improve it. <laughs> I guess I improved it too much. Fixed. How'd you do that? I don't know. I just kind of look at stuff and I see how it works. See you, Strawberry. Well, but call, okay? Send me a postcard. I will. Strawberry! <gasps> All right, where is she? That cousin of yours, where'd she go? Oh, what'd she do this time? Do? You're not gonna believe it. I don't know how she could have done such a thing. Ooh, that bad, huh? Bad? No! It's good! It's great! It's brilliant! She fixed the power system! Better than new! She's a genius! Best Sparkleberry Techie in the very bitty world! Where is she? I gotta hire her! This town needs her! It keeps saying she's out of range. What'd she do? Leave town? Apple! 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 Oh, I think we're lost. Huh? Whoa! you to give me and my crew a crash course in fixing stuff. Apple, I want you to tell the kids your adventure stories at story time. We all want you to stay. There's no one aboard? How to do that? Automatic return. A little feature I added tells the butterflies when you don't need the bus anymore. Because you know you're not gonna leave when you know you found the people you wanna stay with and the place you wanna stay. Welcome home. 